I made the best universe mode, but it's 1998, and Vince McMahon is determined to screw Stone Cold Steve Austin by any means necessary. Will he be successful? Let's find out. Week one kicks off with the chairman of the World Wrestling Federation, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, addressing the fans, letting them know that the days of Stone Cold as the World Wrestling Federation champion are numbered. He has chosen The Undertaker to face Stone Cold in three weeks at SummerSlam. Vince states that he didn't want to make this decision, but that Steve has left him with no choice but to do what's right for the company, the superstars backstage, and of course, for you, the fans. However, as Vince was saying this, Stone Cold came out and stunned the boss. Steve started celebrating with the fans to kick off Monday Night Raw. The first match of the night featured D'Lo Brown accompanied by the leader of the Nation of Domination, The Rock, taking on the European champion and leader of D-Generation X, Triple H, with China for the European Championship. Triple H started the match very strongly, dominating D'Lo in the corner with a series of punches and then kicking D'Lo over and over again as Brown tried to mitigate the damage from those kicks. D'Lo then countered a move by Triple H and sent him against the ropes, followed by the classic drop-down leapfrog and a power slam to the champion. D'Lo was looking for a move in the ropes, but Triple H sent him flying to the outside. Once outside, Hunter inflicted more damage on D'Lo and then he exchanged a couple of words with the Intercontinental Champion. At one point in the match, the referee got knocked down and The Rock took advantage, hitting Hunter with a rock bottom. As The Rock hit the rock bottom on Triple H, you could see that he was probably talking smack to the European champion, who likely felt disrespected by Hunter Helmsley. As you can imagine, when the dust settled, D'Lo took advantage of the situation and hit the champion, Triple H, with his signature move, the Sky High, to win the European Championship. This action by the nation was an immediate declaration of war against D-Generation X. Wait a minute, backstage we can see Vince McMahon speaking with Kane. Well, this was bound to happen after what happened earlier when Stone Cold stunned McMahon. I guess we will find out the meaning of this by the end of the night. In the second match of the night, we saw the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, the New Age Outlaws, taking on the Hardy Boys. Billy Gunn and Jeff Hardy started the match, with Billy dominating Jeff very early on. Then, Billy tagged Road Dogg into the match, and Road Dogg was looking for a move in the corner, but Hardy moved out of the way, causing Road Dogg to hit the top corner. Hardy then tagged in his brother, Matt Hardy, and together they grabbed Road Dogg and executed an innovative tag team move on him. As the match progressed, the New Age Outlaws took control once again, eventually leading to Billy Gunn hitting a famasser on Matt Hardy to win the match. It was time for the main event where we found out that Kane was going to go one-on-one -on -one against the World Wrestling Federation champion Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now we know what McMahon was doing with Kane, but the craziest thing is that we have not seen The Undertaker tonight, even though McMahon announced that he is the one taking on Stone Cold at SummerSlam for the WWF title. Maybe, and this is just a possibility, The Undertaker might be colluding with McMahon to take the belt from Austin. Stone Cold had Kane in the corner, delivering a series of kicks right to the chest of the big red monster. Steve was looking for a move, but Kane countered and dropped Steve over his head almost seven feet high. Now, Kane was dominating the match and continued by hitting Stone Cold with a huge side slam. This could be the end of the match, but Steve came back and started hitting Kane with a crazy series of elbows. Then Steve jumped over Kane, repeatedly striking the big red monster in the face. Austin followed it up with a huge clothesline that sent Kane to the outside. Without wasting a second, he sent Kane face first into the ring post. That's when everything went downhill for the champion, as mankind came from behind and attacked Austin. Kane put the cherry on top by driving Austin through the table, concluding week one. Week two of Monday Night Raw kicked off with none other than Vincent Kennedy McMahon walking proudly to the ring after what he accomplished last week when Kane and mankind gave a beatdown to the World Wrestling Federation champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Vince addressed the fans by saying, I told each and every one of you what was going to happen, yet you boo me and cheer for Stone Cold. Now thanks to all of you, look what happened to Steve last week. Steve could barely walk out of the arena. And as I told you last week, the days of Stone Cold Steve Austin as your champion are numbered. That's when Kane with Paul Bearer joined McMahon in the ring. McMahon continued to say that with Kane by his side and with the help of the likes of mankind, they are going to ensure not only that The Undertaker wins the title at SummerSlam, but most importantly, they're going to make sure that Stone Cold walks out of SummerSlam without the World Wrestling Federation title. That's why tonight, Steve is going to go one-on-one -on -one against mankind. That's when The Undertaker joined McMahon and company in the ring. The Undertaker took a microphone and said, I appreciate that you want to help me, but I never asked for your help and honestly, I don't need it. 
If any of you keep interfering in my business, there are going to be serious consequences. That's when McMahon said, well, I am sad that you feel that way after what I am doing to help you become the champion once again. But if you want things to go down this way, then fine by me. But I need you to do something for me. I'm going to need you to beat this man. So it was made official. The Undertaker was set to go one-on-one -on -one against Gangrel in a singles match. The Undertaker started the match by dominating Gangrel in the corner with a series of punches right to the face, causing Gangrel to fall to the floor. The Undertaker was going for a kick, but Gangrel countered the move. Then it was Gangrel looking to hit the dead man with a clothesline, but The Undertaker countered the move and struck Gangrel with a huge boot to the face. The Undertaker then followed up with a choke slam to Gangrel to win the match. This probably didn't make McMahon very happy as he was likely trying to humble The Undertaker to have him on his side. In the next segment, the former European champion Triple H joined by X-Pac in China was set to address the fans. Triple H took a microphone and started complaining that The Rock screwed him over last week and made him lose his European Championship. Triple H then said that instead of getting a rematch for his European Championship, he is more interested in fighting The Rock for the Intercontinental Championship. He said that he wants to do to The Rock what The Rock did to him last week and take away his championship. Triple H claimed that The Rock is a coward who only attacks from behind, suggesting that The Rock is not man enough to come down here right now and accept his challenge. Then, Triple H and X-Pac started joking that instead of the Nation of Domination, they should rename themselves the Nation of Cowards. Finally, the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Champion came out to address the members of D-Generation X. The Rock said, I understand that you two jabronis are mad at The Rock for losing the European Championship, but that's not The Rock's fault. D-Generation X is a bunch of jackasses and the Nation is a group of winners. The Rock declared that he would take on anyone, anywhere, and at any time, even that jackass called X-Pac tonight. If you smell what The Rock is cooking, that's when X-Pac got livid and started saying that he accepts and that he is going to put The Rock down while Triple H was trying to settle things down. Then Triple H looked at The Rock and said, if you want to fight X-Pac tonight, you're on. And just like that, The Rock was set to take on X-Pac later on tonight. In the second match of the night, we saw Val Venus going one-on-one -on -one against a former Intercontinental Champion, Double J, Jeff Jarrett, in a singles match. Jeff Jarrett started the match by sending Val Venus against the ropes, followed by a drop-down leapfrog and a tremendous knee right to the body of Val Venus. Then Jeff Jarrett was looking for a move in the corner, but Val Venus countered and hit Jarrett with a DDT. Val Venus followed up with a series of knee shots to Jarrett's legs. Val Venus was going for a clothesline on Jarrett who was leaning against the ropes, but at the last second, Jarrett lifted him up and dropped him against them. Now it was Jarrett in control of the match and Jeff was targeting Val Venus's legs. After softening him up a bit more, Jarrett attempted to lock in the figure four submission hold and he got it. Val Venus was in a lot of pain. This might be it for him. It looks like Jeff Jarrett is going to pick this one up, but Val Venus countered the submission attempt from Jarrett and Val Venus got out. I thought this was it for him. Jeff Jarrett can't believe it. And out of nowhere, Val Venus hit Double J with a perfect suplex to beat Jeff Jarrett and win the match. A huge win for Val Venus. In the third match of the night, X-Pac went one-on-one -on -one against the World Wrestling Intercontinental Champion and leader of the nation, The Rock. Rocky started strong, dominating the match, but X-Pac was able to escape the corner after countering a move and then hitting Rock with a drop kick. X-Pac then attempted to hit a move in the corner, but The Rock countered with a huge elbow to X-Pac's face. X-Pac then tried to clothesline Rock, but Rock dodged it and countered with a clothesline of his own. Then The Rock hit X-Pac with a, a spine buster that made the crowd pop. The Rock was looking for the rock bottom, but X-Pac somehow anticipated it and hit him with a huge kick to the face. Somehow, The Rock managed to escape the submission hold. Once standing, The Rock hit X-Pac with the rock bottom to win the match, getting one over D-Generation X once again. The referee handed Rock his Intercontinental Championship while raising his hand. However, out of nowhere, Triple H rushed to the ring from backstage and hit The Rock from behind, just as The Rock did to him last week. Hunter then grabbed the Intercontinental Championship and measured Rocky. The Rock had no clue what Triple H's intentions were, and as The Rock turned around, Triple H smacked him right in the face with the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Championship. This time, it was D-Generation X who got one over on the Nation of Domination. 
It was time for the main event, where the World Wrestling Federation champion Stone Cold Steve Austin was set to go one-on-one -on -one against Mankind in a singles match. The two wrestlers started the match right in the middle of the ring, countering each other's moves. Austin was able to take the upper hand in this exchange and finally hit Mankind with a running bulldog. Then Austin was hitting Mankind with his classic stomp in the corner, hitting Mankind over and over again. But out of nowhere, Kane appeared and he hit Austin with a choke slam. Now both Kane and Mankind were assaulting Austin together. But wait, the dead man, the Undertaker, is here. Taker pulled Mankind from the ring to the outside. Taker had told McMahon earlier not to get involved in his business. McMahon was asking the Undertaker not to do it, but the dead man did it regardless. Vince McMahon could not believe it. The World Wrestling Federation champion and the number one contender were working together, and that was the end of week two. Week three kicked off with the World Wrestling Federation champion Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve took a microphone and addressed what happened last week. He told the fans that although he never asked The Undertaker to come down and help him, Stone Cold appreciated the help. However, he made it crystal clear that he wasn't dumb enough to trust the dead man. In fact, Austin still suspected that all of them might be working together. But in true Stone Cold fashion, he declared that it didn't damn matter to him one bit. That's when The Undertaker came out to confront Steve. The dead man said that he did not come down to help him, but he warned Vince McMahon not to get involved in his business. He claimed that he alone, without any help, can take that World Wrestling Federation Championship from around Steve's waist. Steve said that before their match this week, he has one thing he needs to do, and that's whoop Vince McMahon all over the arena tonight. McMahon surprisingly accepted the challenge from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the two will go one-on-one -on -one tonight in the main event. In the first match of the night, representing the Nation of Domination, The Rock and D'Lo Brown took on the team representing Degeneration X, Triple H and X-Pac, accompanied by China. The match started with The Rock and X-Pac in the ring. X-Pac sent Rocky to the ropes, but The Rock countered X-Pac with a DDT. Then The Rock took X-Pac to the corner and inflicted more punishment, hitting X-Pac with a series of punches to the face. After that, he tagged in D'Lo, and together they performed a tag team move on X-Pac, D'Lo was setting up for a move in the corner, but X-Pac countered and hit D'Lo with a Hurricane Rana. Then he tagged in Triple H, and together they struck D'Lo with a double-team move. Now it was Degeneration X in control of the match. Triple H hit D'Lo with a Spinebuster, putting the nation in trouble. Triple H was looking to execute the pedigree, but D'Lo countered and hit Triple H with a Sky High. This was D'Lo's moment to tag in The Rock, and he did. The Rock entered with intensity, hitting Triple H with a flying clothesline. Following this, The Rock hit Hunter with a spine buster, driving the crowd into a frenzy. Skipping to the end, D-Lo was out of action after China's involvement. The Rock was blindsided and X-Pac hit him with an X-Factor. Then Triple H finished off with a pedigree to win the match. After the match was over, a brawl erupted between the Nation of Domination and Degeneration X. Kama and Mark Henry rushed to aid their leader, but the New Age Outlaws ambushed them from behind. Triple H put the cherry on top by body slamming the rock right onto a ladder. Tonight, the nation has fallen at the hands of Degeneration X. Now it was time for the main event where Stone Cold was set to go one-on-one -on -one against Vince McMahon. Surprisingly, at the beginning of the match, Steve reached out his hand to Vince, and as Vince went to grab it, Steve pulled it away, enraging McMahon for making him look like a fool. Steve took McMahon to the corner and started to stomp him over and over again right in the chest. Then as Vince McMahon was leaning against the ropes, Stone Cold hit McMahon with a huge clothesline that sent him flying to the outside. Once on the outside, Austin was reckless, hitting McMahon against the announce table, throwing him around and slamming him into the barricade. Steve was doing exactly what he promised, and that was to whoop McMahon all over the arena. Finally, Austin hit McMahon with a Stone Cold stunner, but all of a sudden the lights went dark. The Undertaker appeared right behind Steve Austin. The Undertaker grabbed Austin by the neck and hit him with a resounding choke slam. They fooled us all. They were all in it together. And just like that, it was time for SummerSlam. SummerSlam kicked off with a singles match inside of a steel cage between Owen Hart and Ken Shamrock. This match could only be won by submission. And ultimately, after applying the ankle lock, Ken Shamrock walked away with the victory. In the second match of the night, the Legion of Doom challenged the New Age Outlaws for the Tag Team Championship. After many interventions and a little bit of cheating, the New Age Outlaws were able to retain their Tag Team Championship from LOD. In the third match of the night, 
D'Lo Brown defended his European Championship against X-Pac in a singles match. X-Pac became the new European Champion after hitting D'Lo with an X-Factor from the top rope to seal the victory. In the fourth match of the night, Triple H went one-on-one -on -one against the Intercontinental Champion, The Rock, in a ladder match. Triple H walked away with the victory after hitting The Rock with a pedigree on top of the ladder and later unhooking the belt to become the new Intercontinental Champion. In the main event, we saw The Undertaker going one-on-one -on -one against Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWF title. Austin won the match after hitting the dead man with a second Stone Cold Stunner to seal the victory. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend you watch this one on the screen.